Hey, soldiers, we've got another CEO of a cryptocurrency exchange that is going to be doing hard time in a federal prison. Fresh on the heels of Sam Bankman Freed, the former CEO of FTX. Fresh on the heels of his conviction, now we've got Chang Ping Zhao, the CEO of Binance. He has recently pled guilty and is going to be paying out some hefty fines and also is going to be spending some time in uh, prison. So those cryptocurrency exchanges where you can trade Bitcoin and, you know, uh, Ethereum and XRP and all of these other cryptos. Here we have a crypto exchange crackdown that we are seeing occur. Guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We're going to be covering this story just as thoroughly as we covered the Sam Bankman Freed story. But let's not get it twisted. This is not the same as what happened with FTX. All right. Now, Chen Ping Zhao is uh, in Binance under his you know, command is being accused of uh, violating several money laundering statutes. And this is pretty low hanging fruit for the government. And it is waging a war on crypto. The United States government wants to be the sole arbiter of digital payments. That's why they have fed now out there and are actively pursuing a CBDC or a central bank digital currency. The only issue is here in America, unlike places like Nigeria, which basically forced their CBDC down the throats of their citizens, for now we still have a Congress, okay? So, uh, you know, Congress controls whether or not or how money is issued. So, for now, okay, it's not as easy to do here. There are also some other nuances whereby our banks own shares of our central bank, okay, these private companies or publicly traded companies rather, own shares of the central bank. So after a fashion, you could say you own a part of the central bank if you own any shares in any of the big banks, okay? That's different from all of the other countries like the Bank of England, the People's Bank of China, the government owns the central bank. So what is going on here? With this war on crypto that the United States is waging, what did they get old CZ on? Well, billionaire Chen Ping Zhao and leading cryptocurrency exchange Binance pleaded guilty on Tuesday to federal charges in a watershed moment designed to bring order to the often lawless crypto industry. Now, I'm reading this from uh, CNN, Clown News Network. But I purposely chose to do that because I want to see the spin. Because CNN, let's face it, it's a government mouthpiece. So what we're reading here is exactly what the government wants they wants us to interpret this as. Okay. So doesn't it sound like when it says uh, a moment designed to bring order to the often lawless crypto industry? Remember when uh, the emperor in Star Wars said, I will bring order to the galaxy. <laughs> kind of kind of the same vibe here, right? Cue the Imperial March. I would play it, but they would uh, hit me up with the uh, demonetization. So you have to imagine it. As part of a coordinated settlement across the federal government, that's important, okay? This is a full court press. We've talked about it before. Binance has agreed to pay more than $4 billion in fines and other penalties. Zhao, one of the most powerful figures in crypto, has agreed to step down as CEO from the exchange that he founded, and he will pay $200 million in fines. Don't cry for him, though. He's uh, worth a lot more than that. And um, let's see, he's, he's, he's looking at 10 years, okay? Probably get somewhere around 18 months. He's not being accused, him and this uh, company are not being accused of the uh, types of misappropriation and fraud that Sam Bankman Freed was accused of. Following a years long investigation, authorities alleged that Binance allowed bad actors to freely transact on the platform, enabling everything from child people that do bad things with children. I'm not going to say it because it'll cue the algorithm, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, those who dealt in uh, illicit, illicit substances and also 
uh, those folk that run around and instill terror, you know, all the buzzwords here, right, in the uh, uh, hearts of others, okay? Zhao has amassed a fortune of $23 billion. Uh, he pled guilty to failing to maintain an effective anti-money laundering program. Now, that's very important because all financial services companies in this country have to abide by anti-money laundering rules. In fact, I can tell you from personal experience, because you know I own a financial services company, AML or anti-money laundering training is required annually, okay? Uh, and they take it very seriously. So if you are an exchange, a cryptocurrency exchange, and you're dealing with probably billions of dollars in Bitcoin daily, uh, then yeah, you're going to be required to abide by these rules. Uh, and they don't want to see you facilitating any types of transactions that could be construed as money laundering or the facilitation of any crimes, okay? U.S. authorities hope the guilty plea from Binance and its founder on top of the recent conviction of FTX co-founder Sam Bankman-Fried will send a clear message to bad actors across the crypto industry. Now, listen to this part of the CNN article. This is very, this is almost like the government wrote this piece themselves. They probably did. Proponents of digital currencies point out that the great majority of business done via crypto is lawful and legitimate. And a cottage industry of companies have emerged in the last five years that work with law enforcement to track digital transactions. So that's the government making it clear that this is one of the primary uh, abilities that they need to see in digital transactions is the ability to track them. Now look, guys, I went over that uh, CBDC white paper that the Fed put out. Why is it important that they track? Why don't we want that? Because I don't want the, the government has no business knowing that I went and bought some ammunition or how much gasoline I purchased or, you know, any number of other things. Maybe, maybe I want to purchase some cigarettes or alcohol. Okay. Maybe that information will be communicated to an insurance company somewhere. Okay. So with cash tracking individual purchases, definitely not as easy. You can do it, but it's, it's really, really difficult unless you are, you know, spending a lot of money. Now that ability to track and control through money is what we want to avoid, but it's obviously what the government craves. Okay. They said it right there and black and white top U S officials have made it crystal clear that they will continue to keep a close eye on illicit activities surrounding crypto. Never mind all of the illicit activities that are facilitated by the dollar, by the greenback, okay, that piece of cotton fiber paper. Today's actions show that if you serve U.S. customers, you must comply by U.S. law. Mind you, this is coming from a government that is uh, corrupt to the core. By failing to comply with U.S. law, Binance made it easy for criminals to move their stolen funds and illicit proceeds on its exchanges. Merritt Garland said that, the attorney general. So this thing reached the highest levels of the government. That tells you that this is a coordinated effort. You got the DOJ's top guy commenting. You also have Janet Yellen out there making some remarks on uh, what happened as well. So you've got executive level cabinet members basically saying, yes, we are in a war on crypto. We got you CZ because you had some low hanging fruit and we're gonna use you as pretty much an example to strike fear in the hearts of uh, the industry. Now, what might happen with this? I don't know, maybe you'll see a flight away from the United States. CZ and Binance were thinking about doing that. Um, I don't recall to what extent that they were successful with divesting themselves of uh, U.S. customers, but that was something that he'd mentioned a while back. In any event, guys, hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you soon.